Hello and welcome to the TES Secondary Maths Resource of the Week number 11 with me Craig Barton. Now I'm not going to lie here, you are in for an absolute treat and I make no apologies for the fact I'm going to get a little bit overexcited about this particular resource. Now those of you who've been following these resource of the uh, weeks for god what the last four years now will know I'm a bit of a sucker when it comes to a lovely designed Excel spreadsheet that does something fancy purely because my Excel knowledge is limited to the odd uh, A1 plus A2 formula. But this is it's just something I've been looking for for years. Pythagoras and Trigonometry Question Generator. So it's a single file um, uploaded and created by Mr. Jack Daw, and it, and it looks like this. Now, after that build-up, you're probably thinking, flipping out, that's a bit of an anticlimax. That looks a little bit rubbish, because they're just kind of Pythagoras and Trigonometry questions. Well, the first thing I'm going to show you that's impressive is that um, it'll give you the answers. Now, that's that's good straight away for me, because I love to be able to project something up, project the answers up, and then we can have, uh, kids can market themselves, we can have a little discussion about any tricky ones, and I don't have to worry about doing the working out myself. So that's the first thing that impresses me. The second thing is I can randomly generate as many of these questions as I want, and I'll show you how to do that in a second. So, therefore, I've got, I can bang these six up, and then if they cause problems, I can bang another six up. So, straight away, I'm happy with those two things. But here's the big one. Now you're ready for this. The biggest mistake I find students make with, with trigonometry and Pythagoras is muddling up which rule to use when. And I don't just mean using sine instead of cos and tan instead of sine. I mean using Pythagoras when they should be using trigonometry or adding for the hypotenuse when they should be subtracting and so on. So wouldn't it be good if we could kind of mix up these styles of questions? Well, look at this. Click menu and you can choose whatever questions you want or a mixture of the two. So if, for example, you just wanted to focus on Pythagoras, but you wanted a mixture, create there and you get six questions that just relate to Pythagoras. Some finding the hypotenuse, some finding the non-hypotenuse. But then say you want to say, right, let, let's get some finding angles questions, but I want a real mixture between sine, cos and tan. Give that a click. Voila, you've got it. And again, click on answers and the answers are coming up. But then my favorite thing to do, let's have a bit of everything. Let's have a bit of that, a bit of that, a bit of that, a bit of that, and a bit of that. See what happens there. Give that a click and you've got a real mixture. So here we've got a kind of all-encompassing practicing resource. Always give you six questions. You can choose them to be on whatever you want. Project them up on the board. Keep clicking again to get an infinite number of different questions. And click answers and you get all the flipping answers. What could be better than that? I think this is an absolutely phenomenal resource. If you agree, please hop back to this resource page and leave a, leave a review. There's only mine sat on there. Uh, mine and Jess's sat on there at the moment. And I think it deserves more because, as I say, this is amazing. And I, my hope is that uh, Mr. Jackdaw might just create a few more of these because I think they're absolutely superb. So, hope you enjoyed that. And I shall return with a fresh resource of the week next week. Take care and farewell for now.